Here, fatty, fatty, fatty. Here, fatty. No, I was joking. I was joking. Please. <sighs> Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the super awesome Myths and Monsters mod which does exactly what it says in the title by giving us a whole load of new items and mobs to play with based off of old folklore and various myths. Now there's a lot to get through here so I'm going to show you the items and recipes first and then we'll get on some super awesome mobs. Now there are a lot of items in here which are all kind of spread about so I'm going to go over them in a random order. There isn't really too much much order I could put them in but I'm just going to go over the recipes for some of them so over here we have a bad apple and a bowl of fairy dust so to craft the bad apple you're going to need a golden apple and then eight dendroid roots and we'll get to the dendroid roots later on to create a bad apple and the mod creator says do not eat these well it's advised not to eat these and it gives you a tainted seed when eaten which will become apparent later on and then you've got the bowl of fairy dust and for that you're going to need fairy mushrooms and for that you're going to need a mushroom and eight fairy dust which you get from killing fairies which is a mob we'll get to later on on, and then you put two of the fairy mushrooms and a bowl and you'll get a bowl of fairy dust Now the fairy dust will heal your debuffs just like milk and it will also give you a jump boost But do bear in mind you'll become a little bit weaker more prone to attacks when you drink it So up next we've got a little bit of armor and a little bit of weaponry here over here is a dendroid mask This doesn't do anything just yet But it's to do with the dendroid boss that comes later on and you're gonna need three hard leather to create this along with six dendroid roots The dendroid roots come from the dendroid later on and the hard leather comes from just smell melting normal leather and then you've got a two bits of armor there's not a full set of this there's a sand tacits which is a uh, headpiece and then you've got the armor which is a scale mail now you get these things they're called worm tusks and scale leather from defeating one of the mobs that's coming up later on which is called the sand worm now the sand tacits and scale mail reduces buff time so if you get attacked by a buff or get like thrown a potion out or something it will reduce the time that that affects you which is a really cool feature and then you've got this weapon which is the golden bow and for that you're going to need three golden string two gold ingots and three fairy dust along with a dendroid root and I know what you're thinking what the hell is golden string Well, golden string comes from a mob that comes up later on called the golden ram and you get it from crafting that and we'll get to how to craft it later on but the golden bow is a pretty cool weapon it's a lot straighter and more accurate than a normal bow and it can only fire golden arrows which we'll get to in a second and it does more damage to mobs which is really cool so up next we have a few more weapons which are really awesome we've got the tusk lance we've got the golden arrow the golden lyre and the dendroid chakram now the tusk lance is a really cool weapon it is made from drops that a worm gives you so two worm tusks two scale lever and a stick will give you the tusk lance and i'm going to demonstrate what this bad boy does so the tusk lance launches the player on a right click so let's try this pow check that out and what buff have we got oh we haven't got any <laughs> so if we just fire ourselves we can just fire ourselves into the air and move ourselves along so it's kind of like a charge attack you can just be like come at me bro ah and stuff like that and it also has if you hold it for long enough it gives you a bit of a boost of a strength and resistance buff which is really cool and it also acts like a just a bit stronger than a stone sword which is a cool feature too now golden arrows are what you're going to need to fire with your golden bow from earlier you're just going to need some glowstone dust a blaze rod and some fairy dust to create those and they just act as normal and they also work super effective against a dendroid elder which we'll get to later on so now we've got the golden lyre and we've also got the dendroid chakram now the golden lyre it doesn't have too much use just yet, but it just plays random tunes, but I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. You need two of that golden string you mentioned earlier. Five gold ingots and two fairy dust to create it. So if I right click, as you can hear, it'll just make random notes. But in the future, the mod creator said that it will have more of a apparent feature in the mod. Now over here are dendroid chakrams which are really cool and you get them by crafting dendroid roots in a circle and these act kind of like boomerangs. So let's throw one, it will go in a circle and it comes back to you as well. See how awesome that- okay went over me but still that was amazing. If you can hit things from over here it will come straight back to you and it also bounces off stuff as well. So let's try and bounce it off of this chest here. Oh! <laughs> that's that's so cool but yeah it's a really cool weapon you can just bounce it off things and it, it seems to bounce the opposite way which is really interesting but 
it's still a really cool idea for a weapon. I love this thing. So moving on, it seems to have knocked this off, which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well, let's just put this back in here. But anyway, moving on to the next chest, and we just have an assortment of random items that come with the mod, and I'm going to use the assistance of too many items to show you what it and how you create it and stuff like that and what you use it for. So we've got golden fleece, and that is sheared from a golden ram, which the mod will get to in a second. We've got bright star core, and the star core gives you night vision and also explodes in the day. So you can place it on the ground, but it will explode in the day but it does give you the night vision buff we've then got the void star core and that is the same as the uh, bright star core but it gives you blindness as well so not the best and it also explodes in the day then you've got sand scales which are also drops from the sand worms we we're talking about earlier and the worm tusk too and then we've got a tainted seed which was from the apple at the beginning of the episode now we've got the golden string will you stop it i'm trying to do a mod review here please just just stop no yeah, there we go. That's better. So sorry, guys. They've been removed from the building and it won't happen again. Now, all you need to do is to put a bit of golden fleece in a crafting table and it will give you your golden string. So that is how you create that. And then you've got hard leather, which I told you about earlier. You just smelt a normal piece of leather. And then you've got dendroid root, which you can actually craft as well as get from drops. And you just need oat wood and a tainted seed from the apple from earlier. Then you've got void stardust and it's created by putting a void star core into the crafting table. And then we've got the bright stardust, which is done by the same, but with a bright star core. And then we've got scale leather as well, which is um, used for some of the armor we looked at earlier earlier and one of the swords and you use that by making in a crafting table three sand scales and a piece of hard leather now this bright stardust is actually really useful because you can now make experience potions that's right you can make experience potions but it's not going to be easy you're going to need a piece of bright stardust and you're going to need a diamond as well as well as six glass bottles to create six experience potions it's going to be useful but it's going to be expensive too so that is pretty much all that we've got to look at in these chests but what you really want to know is what's in here what's inside the box well i will tell you what's inside the box it's a whole lot of mobs so i've got my equipment ready i'm going to don some of this armor actually but just just because it's including the mod basically it's just gonna look pretty sweet look at this like, why can't i wear it oh you know what i'm just gonna fine i'll get a diamond helmet i didn't want to wear it anyway damn oh these could be ah oh, there we go they're pants <laughs> such an idiot so we've got diamond helmet and we're looking pretty sweet with our little robes on there as well so now we're going to take a look at some mobs. Right then, so the first mob we're going to look at is the Golden Ram. So this is what it looks like. He looks like a pretty badass sheep right here. But these are just peaceful mobs. They won't attack you at all. They will walk sideways though. But apart from that, they will go aggro at you if you take their wool. So let's, let's do this and... Oh yeah. We stripped him of his wool and now he's really angry. So we're just going to have to take him down. So get out of here, man. We got your wool. Now we don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. So we got this wool that you can create into golden string that we saw earlier to create various golden elements of this mod. So moving on, and we're going to go to the fairy now. And the fairies are pretty peaceful as well. They're kind of cool looking as well. Look at these little navvy looking things. And they're really peaceful. Whoa. They are fast as hell as well. <laughs> so these are really peaceful i like the animation from them too and but when you attack them they will act like zombie pigments so you attack one and all of them will attack you at the same time so this is probably not working just because i haven't got um survival oh no here we go no, no this is this is really scary they're only small but damn they can fight and because i mean damn it get out of here no no do not bite my ankles <laughs> So yeah, these things can get pretty crazy. They will deal a little bit about the damage, but when you've got like six of them on you like that, it gets pretty in intimidating. No, where did you even come from? So the next mob I'm going to show you is called the Dendroid. Now the Dendroid is like a small little tree. So let's hit this guy and he will actually shoot sticks at you and they deal 1.5 hearts of damage. So look, you can see. Go on, hit me again. Go on, I dare you. I dare you. There we go. Oh, a stick just flew right at me. And you can actually collect the sticks, which is really interesting. You can just kind of harvest sticks from these guys. But they will deal 1.5 hearts of damage and drop a lot of wood when you knock them silly. So the big daddy of this guy is called the Dendroid Elder. Now this guy is awesome check out this model it's incredible now this guy looks like a normal tree until approached and then when you wake him up he'll be pretty angry so what this guy does is he destroys logs he turns leaves to gravel so let me just um i don't know if i can try that let's see if we can make him do this this is an experiment i haven't tried it before but here's some leaves here, bro hey bro so if you anger him he will get pretty damn annoyed at you and he will come on 
Yes, see, look, he turns the leaves to gravel, which is a pretty random feature, but also pretty cool too. Come on. Are you going to turn these ones too? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. So he also destroys logs. And another feature, which is a pretty good way to destroy him, is to set him on fire. So bam. Get him. No. Get him on fire. Ah, oh, yes. So he will burn forever. When you light him, he pretty much dies all the time. So every time you light him on fire, his HP will turn zero. And yeah, you run. You run, buddy. You run. And we'll just wait for him to die. This is help him along a bit. But the only thing about burning him is it's an easy way to kill him. But he will only drop charcoal. Which is... Nope. He spawns these guys too. He spawns these guys too. <laughs> so yeah. As you can see, they will only drop charcoal. But you can also get really cool stuff. Like all the dendroid items we talked about earlier. So oh my god. He's spawning them everywhere. And the next mob I've got to show you is the sandworm. Which you can actually see over here. So I'm not going to spawn them in. Because you can just see them over here. They do spawn in large packs like this. And they travel through the sand. Underneath the sand. And I think... These look amazing. They're like sand cro crocodiles. <laughs> Can't even say it. And that's oh my god, they travel actually in the sand as well. Man, these are fast. Holy balls. Look at this. He's in the sand, and now I'm incredibly scared. No, no. Imagine if I was in survival. Holy crap. Oh, so as you can see, he drops sand scales, which you can make into various armor later on. And yeah, these guys are pretty angry at me. I'm gonna walk over here. So sorry, sorry. Right, for this next guy, we have changed it to night because they look better in the night and kind of have better effects. And we've got the Celestial Ursa and the Void Ursa. So those, as you may have recognized, are exactly the same and are to do with these star cores right here. So we have the Bright Star Core, Void Star Core, and they are to do with these. So this one is kind of like the good one and it will give you night vision, which is why it seems to have turned to day. And it will teleport after taking damage. Let's see if that's true. I think it's only from other mobs, actually. But he will get aggressive if you do hit him. And then he also drops these star cores. So he will place star cores around. And you can only mine them by having a diamond diamond pickaxe. So I, I guess he does teleport. Yep, there he is. There he is. So this looks weird. There's just, like, mobs in the day. And I bet these have a ridiculous amount of health. God damn it. So as you can see as well, they will attack normal mobs like this. They just go up to them and make them suffocate, which is a really cool feature. And now I'm going to spawn in the Void Ursa, which is going to give me blindness. So it doesn't help me, it hinders me. And also spurts out the Void Star Cores, which again can only be um, picked up by a Diamond Pickaxe. So let's spawn this guy in. And oh my god, this guy is looking extremely scary. He's got a heart, right? No. Oh god. He's got a heart right in the center of him. He's pretty aggressive. He does attack normal mobs as well, though. So he's not, like, aggressive towards you unless you attack him. But the only thing he gives you is this blindness, which I think is a really cool feature. I don't know about you, but I think both of these are pretty scary, but also amazing at the same time. Look at this fight. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, bre break it up. Come on, buddies. Break it up. Break it up. Come on. Hey, you won, buddy. You won. How great. Okay, so one other thing you do need to know when these guys are in action is that they will explode in the day and apparently don't like each other this much. So let's see what happens when we time set zero. Wow, that was amazing. So up next, we actually have three guys that I haven't got any information on because the guy hasn't updated the mod just yet. Well, he's updated the mod, but not the mod description. And they are the Hill Giant, the Elite Hunter, and the Normal Hunters. So let's spawn one of these guys in. Have you got a gun? What the? I'm no. Okay, no. It's just a worm tusk. It's one of them swords that we looked at earlier. One of these. So he's gonna have. He's gonna be pretty powerful. And I'm gonna spawn in an uh, elite hunter as well. Are these the wrong way around? I mean, come on. This this guy's elite, and he has nothing on him. And this guy is just like normal, and he's got. A, whoa. Chill out there. You just embarrassed yourself completely. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit these and see what happens. Um. Yep. He's gonna attack me. Uh. Get away. So we've got him, and he drops his sword as well. And this guy just goes crazy. I don't, I don't think, I don't see what's so elite about him. Maybe he's got more health, but man, he's looking like a bit of a wimp to me. Yeah, get in that hole where you belong. Get in there. So now we've got one more, which is the hill giant. So let's just take the hill giant, and I'm not sure what this is gonna gonna be like. How big is he gonna be? Are you ready? Yeah, he's pretty big. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at that stubble he's got going on. He's looking pretty old, actually. Look at this. Oh my god, this guy's amazing. I bet he has so much health as well. So again... No, my... What? No. No, that's not what I expected you to do. So apparently, he will explode. I'm guessing that's because he's going to create, like, um, really big ripples in the ground when he falls. I don't really know. But, man, this guy's exploding all over the place. He's jumping, just destroying. And I think that's really cool, actually. That is a cool feature. Let's see how much health this guy has. He's exploding everything. Come on, guys. Come on. No, this is awkward. This is so awkward. <laughs> and he falls. Does he drop anything? So he doesn't drop anything just yet, but 
I think that's a cool feature is destroy this land like an absolute pro would. So yeah. That is pretty much what this mod has to offer. There is a lot in this mod when it comes to weapons, items, and incredibly cool mobs as well. I am really enjoying doing these mods where they have like lots of new mobs that we can play with, especially stuff like this. I mean, come on. This is amazing. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Where is he? Friends for life. Okay, uh, maybe not. He didn't. He didn't like that at all. <laughs> so yeah that is pretty much what this mod has to offer if you do want to check it out which i'd highly recommend it's being updated all the time this is actually the guy's first mod and i must admit it is a crazily good first attempt at a mod it's it's really good that's all i can say about it really if you do want to go and try it out go to the description below to check it out and download it which i would highly recommend so if you are new to the channel then please hit that subscribe button for daily minecraft videos and for all of you a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too if you did enjoy this video that is so that is pretty much all i have to say i've been dan from the diamond minecart showing you the myths and monsters mod i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and goodbye